and we're here right now in Shangri-La of the Fort for the Oppo F9 launch. We have here two of out of the three phones that they launched today. We're just missing the starry purple variant. Let's check this out. So I have two phones in my hand, two out of the three phones that they launched. The other one's a starry purple color. Um, but we don't have that. I like this one better though because it's got like a black color up top and then it turns blue at the bottom. This one's a classy red. Um, which one do you like guys? The phone is very light and thin. You're, it feels like you're not even holding anything. Um, and then it's a smudge and fingerprint magnet unfortunately. We have dual rear camera, 16 megapixel and 2 megapixel, and then uh, we have a 25 megapixel front. Uh, hmm, what else can I say about this phone? Uh, I feel like the fingerprint scanner is a bit far up though. Like if you have small hands, it'd be hard to reach it. Like it would have been better if it, they placed it a little lower. That's, that's my take though, because I've got really small hands. We appreciate how they made the notches smaller, way smaller than other phones out there with notches. Look at these. Teardrop notches. Um, but also, a little comment in that five minute VOOC flash charging thing. Um, we actually thought that it's gonna charge your phone like up to 100% or even 50% in five minutes, but we thought wrong. It's actually just 10 minutes for the first five minutes, but that's still pretty quick compared to other fast chargers out there. Like five minutes, 10% um, to 11%. That's all we can say for now. We'll tell you more about it in our full review. Just subscribe to our channel. Um, it comes in four gigabytes and six gigabyte variants. It has 3,500 mAh battery life and um, 6.3 inch, 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio, and what else? Um, it has the same processor as the F7, which was the MediaTek P60. So we're gonna show you the ports. We have here the 3.5 millimeter audio port, micro USB charging port, down firing speaker, um, volume rockers, the SIM card slot, and then the power lock button. out and the selfies look decent but then again the venue is a bit dark so we're gonna test we're gonna test it out again once we have the units for review at daytime so we can tell you what we think of the camera <laughs> Drop a comment in the comment section down below and wait for a full review. Drop a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future uploads. Again, this is Kim of Fugatech, and I'll see you in the next video.